Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Today I'm gonna be shopping my whole 700 plus nail polish collection for the new Sally Hansen Kisses Easter line. So if you have not seen or heard of these yet, there have been a couple other video reviews of this really cute collaboration between Sally Hansen InstaDry and Hershey's Kisses. I did post in the community tab a picture of the set that I saw in Target, and upon further inspection, I did notice there were a couple items here that did not belong. At my Target, they ended up placing two extra polishes on this set that were not in this collection. However, that was not upon first inspection. That was after doing my research and kind of preparing for this video. I'm believing those to be Pink Blink and Gain Momentum. But since they were on the rack, I did go ahead and shop my stash for those as well. So let me show you what I've pulled and we'll compare them to the polishes in this collection. This first one is a foiled silver metallic polish. Their polish is called Giving Kisses. And I actually pulled one that I feel like looks pretty similar. It is that foiled metallic finish. My picture makes it look a little bit of a darker, dustier, almost charcoal toned gray or silver. And then the swatch does look really similar to the online photos and other photos I've seen of the bottle and swatches. So I feel like this was a really good look alike for me. This one was definitely a little bit harder for me. My picture looks like a dusty blue with an icy finish, but the online picture looks like a really bright blue. I had nothing in that tone range in that finish, so this is probably the farthest stretch for a lookalike shade in today's comparisons. This one is more of a true metallic chrome-like finish. It almost has a little bit of a streaky look to it. I feel like that is more my application than anything, but I used this little metallic eye glow mini. These were a Dollar Tree find and they do not have names on them, but I do really like the quality of these polishes, but this was the closest I could find in my collection. I don't have many foiled metallics, it turns out. Next up is Hugs and Kisses, which is another foiled metallic. The first three are kind of meant to be a take on the Hershey's wrappers. This one looked brighter in my picture where it's portrayed a little bit deeper online, and it seems to be the case with the swatches I've seen as well. However, I was kind of going off of my own original photo when I did pull this polish. Since then, I have seen swatch photos which have helped me kind of gauge the accuracy a bit, but this one I felt like was, again, not quite the same finish. The foiled metallic finish on this one is a much smaller particle and just doesn't have that exact finish but I felt like it was close enough for me, but it is just a lookalike. I used Olive and June's Lilac Shimmer. Such a pretty polish. This next one is a lookalike of that first polish they snuck into the collection. This collection does not even have a pink in it. My pick looks a little bit dusty, like dusty bubblegum, but it's portrayed brighter online. My lookalike nails the look of my picture though. It's kind of that eraser pink. And this is a lookalike for Pink Blink by the Sally Hansen InstaTry line. And the one that I used was Revlon Ultra HD Snaps Think Pink, which is a really beautiful tone. And this one looks really different in the bottle compared to on the nail. The next one is another sneak into that collection. This one definitely is not in that collection, and I didn't even think it was weird that there were three blues in this collection because I love light blues, and I just thought they were catering to me. <laughs> no, but I just didn't really notice it, and I think that my lookalike looks spot on to the online pick as well as my pick. This one is pretty much a dupe. This one is Olive and June. This one is BP. It's definitely one of my most used pale blue polishes. It's got a nice fill line in this one, but this one was a lookalike for Gain Momentum. 
This next one is my lookalike for More Kisses Please. It is pulling so much darker on camera than it is in real life. This brown polish has more of a ruddy tone and more of a true tone than it is pulling on camera. On camera, it looks almost like a black polish. I would say both of the pictures were pretty much the same as far as tone goes. I would just say that my polish pick is a shade darker, but on camera, it's looking way darker. So I apologize for that, but this one is Linby Designs, A Brutiful Day. In the bottle here, it looks much more like what it looks like in real life. Kind of a creamy, chocolatey tone. It's definitely a really nice one, and I felt like it was really close. This next one is my lookalike for I Want Kisses. This was another one that was really hard for me to find a shade similar. My pick looks a little bit darker and has a little bit less pop than the online pick and the swatches that I've seen. It's the tone of blue that I don't have in my collection and I've kind of been looking for. So my lookalike is a little more muted with a cooler tone. I might actually want this polish. I went ahead and used LA Colors Splashy, which does look a little bit more poppy on the nail than it does in the bottle. So I feel like it looks a little bit closer to the polish that I'm trying to look alike on the nail than it does in the bottle, but even still, it's just not quite there. This one's a little more cool toned. This next one is my lookalike for Kisses on My Mind, and my lookalike is actually another Sally Hansen polish. My picture and my lookalike are a perfect match, but the online picture looks dustier by far, and the swatches I've seen online are much more limey, and they all have a little bit more brightness than my picture or even my lookalike which I have all of those shades and everything in between because I am a green girly. I was just mostly trying to match my picture because, again, I was kind of just going off of that at the beginning. But this one was Sally Hansen Hard as Nails in the shade Limestone. This next one I felt was really close. This one is my lookalike for Full of Kisses. This is another super, super close one. It looks pretty much exactly the same throughout, whether it be my pick, online, other swatches. They all match this really well. I used Olive and June's JLR, which is another one with a pretty nice fill line in my collection. I definitely love Olive and June's pastels. And this last one was most difficult by far. Oh my goodness. This was my toughest shade. This was my lookalikes for sending kisses. Being a purple lover, I thought I had every shade of purple in my collection, but it turns out the first pick here is far too pink. The second pick here is far too dusty, and this last pick is far too deep, and it has a shimmer, which the polish that I'm trying to dupe or look alike does definitely not have the shimmer. So I really don't think any of these nailed it, and I didn't even try to pull lilac tones because I knew that they would all be far too light and not quite vivid enough. But the colors I did try to pull to look alike for this polish were this No Name Eye Glow Mini. This one was the one that pulled far too pink. I tried this Helios Luminor, which is Mocha Please. The bottle looks a little bit faded, but this one is a pretty cream. Another one that looks very different in the bottle versus on the nail. And that last one was Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Violet Voltage. So yeah, another one that looks a little bit different on the nail, but none of these quite compared. I did have so much fun with this video though, and I feel like this is a beautiful color story. I'm definitely looking to wear a Skittle out of these four. I love the way those four look together. So this has definitely been a fun journey and it's given me another Manny idea. Do you have any of the polishes that I mentioned here today? Or are you looking to buy any of the Sally Hansen ones? I would love to hear about it down in the comments, but that's it for this one and I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.